I finally watched the second entry in the Spider-Verse series. Don't know why, but I've been hearing things ever since. And the one thing that stood out to me, apart from the visual storytelling, was the soundtrack. Produced by Metro Boomin and features many artists that he's worked with in the past. I love this soundtrack just as much as the one from the first film. So today I'm going to be trying to break down and emulate the signature sound of the Spider-Verse soundtrack. So yeah, let's make a start. I'm gonna start roughly at a BPM of like 146 and the reference track I'm gonna be using is probably my favorite one on the soundtrack, which is Annihilate. This is the forbidden technology I'm using. So I'm gonna flip the MIDI and then I'm going to bounce it out real quick. And we're going to layer this pad with something a bit more retro, so. I'm gonna bounce this out because otherwise it's gonna kill my CPU. Now this is where the retro sounds come in. I'm going to be using a sound from the Juno 60. So this is the sound I'm going to be using for the third pad. I'm going to make an up melody out of this and then be reverse it, do the same thing that I did with the pad. Throw some half time on it, reverse it, and increase the pitch by one octave. This is what it sounds like now. Now I'm going to add respace to this beat, obviously. in case I want to change it between the hook and verse sections. So this one's from Prod by Jack's Chromatic One-Shot Kit, I think. Now, obviously I'm just gonna do the same thing again. So flip horizontally and then I'm gonna bounce it out and see what it sounds like. Now this one's a lot more atmospheric. It's not so much a main melody for a hook or something. So I'm going to use it in like the build up and then switch to the other art when I want the art to be the main focus of the melody. In one of the first scenes, you hear this like lead melody, which is really addicting. Go something like this. If anyone remembers like the Prowler sound effect from the first film, what I'm going to do is get an elephant sound effect, put a bunch of effects on it, and then try and replicate the Prowler sound effect from the first film. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. So I'm just going to pitch it down one octave. We're like halfway there. Yeah, I'm going to mix all of the melodic elements of the beat, and then I'm going to start with the drums. I think I have enough room on my SD card to finish this B, I'm not gonna lie, but... Bro, I just laid five snares on top of each other. What is wrong with me?
done. Now we just have to arrange this massive project that I've just produced. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm also gonna add some effects and fills and orchestral parts just to make the different sections lead into each other a bit better. This is gonna be a massive project. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Final thing I'm gonna do, because my god, it's getting a bit complicated now. I'm gonna add a stutter to the second verse melody. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the beat's done. My brain is so fried, I don't even know what to say about this beat. The project is a lot bigger than what I'm used to, and there's a lot going on. I don't think an artist could go over this easily. I mean, I might try and listen to it with an acapella, I don't know. I think it succeeded in emulating the style a little bit. It's, it's just way too dark, like, it doesn't sound like a superhero soundtrack, basically. But uh, hopefully, if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped in some way. And if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. And let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time. I don't think I'm gonna top that personally, but... <laughs> Thank you.